still in a manageable position just outside it's of Tarry. Mel Rogers here. Do have the Fury Swipe stacking up some L. Goes for the Kokocha play, but he's going to end up going down as Roger with the Splinter Blast. That was a very nice rotation there by Roger. He actually pulled, connected, and then just immediately started running to the mid lane to set up that gank. And straight down bottom VP. Looking for a secondary play here. They're on to crit, crit. Arrow connects. He's going to be able to turn around and deal with that long stun from that arrow from Arteezy Pasha. He'll pop the stick charges, crit does fall, Pasha gets taken down in return. Arteezy jumps forward and finds himself the kill. Solo is trying to chase down this Marana. He's got a nightmare. He does. He should be able to find this with the right clicks that he can still offer up through that nightmare. Solo gets the double kill. But the magic missile, wait for Terra, comes out for crit he's back in Solo, has a brain sap. Will start to back himself away. Pasha with the avalanche, stunning crit and keeping Solo safe. Solo gets away with the play. The lane, S4. The Crepify, no one gets another blast in S4 falling incredibly low here. Roger coming in as well from the sidelines. The Splinter Blast finishes off S4. No one pops the stick charges. Another blast onto Fly Fly with his own stick, keeping himself healed up. We'll be able to take down no one. But Roger, final Splinter Blast, cleans up a double. As both of the side lanes we're seeing VP supports picking up double kills. Bottom lane, Nightmare was there, just get taken off. So RTZ save, crit turns with the magic yes. missile onto Pasha Arrow, follows in as well to the other right clicks to do it. RTZ's got to be careful, pounces away. Very low on that Marana as he pulled me up to pop us out in the trees. This is the lane that's going the best at the moment. Being able to actually keep themselves, keep themselves pretty decent because they have this double ranged versus smaller, smaller range of the Bane and the Tiny. And Sumail does find himself a region to oh. the farm inside that jungle. And again, the magic missed some. The arrow to follow up. RTZ able to keep himself out of range. The avalanche with the toss indeed. He's there, going to get the kill on crit. And RTZ can't quite find Solo. The nightmare setup's there. Getting get put to position to buffer more right clicks. And RTZ does not have leap for a couple of seconds. There's the toss from Pasha. Right click from Solo. As Pasha and Solo clean up once again on the bottom lane. And that's where you can put the curse in. Give him a little bit of praise. They get killed by BP. Seven for three now. Still very close in farm. That mid lane, as expected, the Ursa. Ramses having the freest farmers of his life here. Five minutes in, 31 for 14. Samael, he has to do this. He has to go to the jungle. He cannot contest this Ursa at the moment, 1v1. It's bottom lane. Again, the setup, the missile into the arrow. Pasha, can he play his way out of this one? He's got the toss back. RTZ won't look for him. The wave of Terra not enough to bring him down as Pasha can Smell. keep himself alive. And indeed, Solo and Roger converging from both sides of the map here to come into the jungle of Evil Geniuses. Find Samel. Samel has the concoction turn. Gets the stun off of Samel. Will go down. Oh, Solo. Roger is he taking get the tower. Oh, oh, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful here. Solo and Roger. I tell you what, they're going to die together. Or at least Solo will. Does Roger want to go down with me? He says, screw of course it. He does. I can't live without you. As he'll let himself fall to the creeps as well. <laughs> they die together. You see the build that Roger went for, too. They recognize that they can actually go for these aggressive plays if they go for something like this with the phase boots on this Winter Wyvern. On the mid lane, on. suddenly, there's a tiny hit. Comes in with the combo on Smell. Smell just had the concoction. Gets out to Ramsey. Dead. Ramsey's there with the enrage. Has the damage to find the kill. Now looks towards Fly. The tree being thrown in, but the tower is hitting onto Ramsey's. Will be able to de aggro it onto the creep wave. The VP stepping up their play here in game two and making some fantastic movements, some excellent support play in these side lanes and already with these very early rotations. Bottom lane solo gets gone on. The magic missile into the arrow. But RTZ jumps forward with the Starfall. Doesn't get the two hits onto Solo, so the burst isn't quite there. Solo turning around with the nightmare. Pasha in with the combo on top of Crit. Avalanche into the toss. Crit's gone. RTZ still trying to find Solo, but he can't quite get the right clicks in as Solo will survive. Roger again with these plays, setting up for more and more action as he catches out. S4. So the bounty runes, those are coming up in the moon like Shadow EG. They're looking yeah. to set up for some kills. Radiance if they can set up onto Ramses, Ramses. He's going to get magic. The arrow. The arrow perfectly done by RTZ. He connects onto the air, so Ramses is gone. The Moonlight Shadow catching him off guard. So they'll get a kill and they claim one bounty at least, but VP will claim the other three. Ramses does find an invis rune, but he's Radiant under a sentry. He actually oh, does does it quite have chemical rage up? He's got it now. It will turn, pop it, but it doesn't matter. The fury swipes have already stacked up. There's the level six hit by Solo with the chain from the fly. Comes out, bouncing between them. S4 gets the ult out onto Ramses, but Ramses, he wants the kill. He wants S4. Can he quite fight it? The slows are too strong. He's being kited up. Roger pops the winter's curse, but Ramses will go down to the poison of S4. S4, maybe seeing if he can find Roger as well. Roger will have the Arctic Burn flight available in a few seconds. Tries for the TP, but Crit's there with the Magic Missile. Roger looks towards S4. S4 will hide his way behind the trees as Roger, he'll look to he the and again. That's that creep cap on a triple kill. 
as three <laughs> heroes have died here. Different neutrals, same spot. He's got the money. He's on his way over, but this move will be scanned by EG. They also have the ward. They see Roger coming They're preparing on the high ground. Look at the magic missile out. Pasha going in for the combo, but the chain frost bounces are already out here from Fly. He's doing a lot of damage here to both Nolan and Solo. They'll turn. They'll get the grip. Ramsey's in onto the high ground. Jones Fall gets the kill. Winters curves through Roger. Holds back the alchemist. That's easy. Dumping it with the sample. Gets the double kill. He's found Roger on the high ground as well. Gets the triple. Arteezy with the wraparound. Finding the big kills as he jumps in perfect position there for that starfall. Some mail certainly an issue now. And they're yeah. even bringing him over for the fights with this Radiance. They smoke him up. It's also a bit more of an issue. It's like normally like an Alchemist, he's scary, right? But you throw Lich Armor on him, it actually makes up a lot of the problems that Alchemist does have early on. Which is the armor department. Makes him so much tankier. He's got the blink. He's already looking to get aggressive. Ramsey's is straight on top of him. The concoction, the swap bag, the magic missile. Ramsey's chain locked down. As they get the kill. That Blink Dagger, as you say, certainly catching him by surprise. Didn't expect that jump to come in, especially out of the smoke that EG led him with. As EG find a kill onto the Tier 1 tower. Winter's Curse will be thrown down onto S4, but he was still able to get the old town. Samel's just going straight in, gets to Crepe Fight. Avalanche combo comes out. Can he get out of this one, Samel? He's falling pretty low. He can it again. Fly with the bounce of the chain. Samel lives on 10 HP, 8 HP, in fact. And EG just cleaned up the entire team. A regen and he gets a regen. Oh, you couldn't have ridden it any better there for EG, that fight. It's... it's very difficult for them now versus the Venno Wards as well as the Ice Armor. They can't really look to go for those tower pushes or anything either. They kind of have to go for hunting and maybe just play around getting a Roshan so they can play with an Aegis and try to get some momentum swing off of that one. But EG's all positioned around here. They do have the sentry like down, so they see Crit. Crit gets the magic missile out. They've got vision upon him. They pop the dust. They'll look to burst him down. They'll get the kill on Crit. Crit's down, but already Samael's in. He's in with the chemical rage. Pashi tries to go for the combo, but it's not nearly enough burst to find the kill. From the side, S4 gets the old out onto the two of them. Ramses goes for the TP out. Will escape. Arteezy still alive amongst all of this as they're taking the fight once again. Pasha running himself away from Samael and flies. They'll chase down this tiny. The Radiance burn bringing Pasha down as EG take another Successful fight. VP just seem at a loss here. They try to fight. They can't farm, at least at a pace that keeps up with that of EG. They've got to do something miraculous here. They yeah. couldn't put it better myself. They have to pretty much get a ton of kills now off of this Ursa with this Bastion. Just try to look around and get those other heroes besides the Alchemist. Try to catch Sumail when he doesn't have the Chemical Rage after. But, I mean, Sumail's got the net worth oh, of two easy. heroes right now. They don't have Fiend's Grip available. They've got a Nightmare. Okay. He has used all of his leaps in there. I mean, they can set up for the kill there. Ramsey's in solo. Find a big one. Roshan's still up. The team yet to really look to try for the pit. It's, I mean, it's too hard for VP to really set up for it. If anything, they can try to sneak it, but well, Solo. EG's always wearing it. Solo. Oh, he tries to lean him, but Samael straight on top of him with the blink dagger, and Solo's gone. You've been mixing with a wrong crowd. We'll see if he catches out. No one, nonetheless. There's no one backing up. Arteezy's got... Oh, did he see those sentries? I don't yeah. think he's... Yeah. They, they saw, no one they saw Arteezy, but they yeah. didn't see no one. Ramsey turns up as well. That's easy. Already backing away. Bash Roger, first hit. Rogers had to use the window turns on the side. The crit will get the chance to get the magic missile out, but the crit fire and the net magical damage is enough to find it. To win, towards the mid lane, Roger is getting focused. RTZ has been taken down as S4 will finish off Roger. Samael jumps in. Concoction out onto Ramsey's. Ramsey's got the rage out in time. They're popping a Fiend's Grip here, but not really a kill that the remaining members of VP can go upon. Quick jump. Get himself the bash, and indeed no amount of Lich Armor is going to save Fly from that damage. It's a 603 gold from a Lich kill. They look to invade They've got the, the jungle. Samael, ready with the jump. Can he find himself a target? Jumps in, gets the concoction out in time. Onto no one, no one has to grab fight. To save him for the physical damage, Till takes the sun. There's the follow-up sun. There will be the cold embrace and the Brett nightmare, keeping no one safe. As they've managed to find Fly, they're turning things around at VP as they get on top of Crip. Crip will go down, the Winter's Curse as well. Can they get more out of this VP? They have to back away from these Radiance Illusions of the Manta Star. Lost Samael, though. As Roger being chased down by the Illusion, he's Arctic burning up to the high ground. S4 finds the Gale connection onto Ramses and Samael with the Radius burn gets the kill. Maybe it's still 10 seconds for Ramses. He wants to try to find S4 here. 
See, Ramsey jumps in, but there's Samael with the counter play straight away on top of Ramsey's Ramsey's pops the arrange, looks towards Samael, gets the back, can they get the damage on the fly? The Chain Frost bouncing around them all, oh. takes down Pasha, takes down Sala Ramsey's, gets on to Samael, they do get the back, they do get the kill, Samael now down for 75 seconds, buyback's coming out from VP, they know they've got a chance to take this fight from Ramsey's, he goes down, RTG gets the pick of the Winter's Curse, comes out, Roger getting himself away from the Radiance burn, they're very low, the Avalanche from Pasha, takes the Try it for Roche. I think VP, they're going to be able to head over in time. A blanket of Ven Awards, though, already being placed. S4 as well as Look at this move. VP getting themselves on the high ground. Get themselves around for the side. Gale from S4 gets thrown out. VP trying for S4. Roche's already dead. They've got it. Samel's got the Aegis. The swap will be down to Solo. So they get the kill, they get the Aegis, and they get a kill onto Solo. VP have to now get out. They couldn't get into the pit in time. The Yule Scepter. They found themselves another catch. S4. Finding Roger, the Winter's Curse is out, but he won't He's save him. It's always oh, DD on! Oh, Arteezy, did you have to have a DD? Did you see so what he did what... too? Arteezy backpacked his items during that curse, but with the DD, it was still enough damage to push over and kill the Veno. That can't backpack a DD. But even the bench can be incredibly useful, as we've seen so many times, you know. It doesn't matter if you die, you've still got yourself in there to be able to save and swap, and you can, you can even play aggressively with your swaps in that point. Tough. Arteezy, he just get spotted. Quick kill for Ramses and Pasha. But EG still making sure that they can keep these lanes pushed in in VP. They are struggling a bit to push them out. Pasha as oh, well. Oh, some miles in. Crepify, the live train, keep it so alive. Another concoction though, that damage. As Pasha, he's in with the BKB, goes for the Avalanche. The rest of VP heading over. Crit will separate himself away from the team. Samel comes back in, but the delay the 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 blocks the concoction. Ramsey's in on top of Crit, takes down a second. EG, they're down two members at the moment. The Enrage is up for uh, Ramsey's, but EG, they're still trying to play around with him. S4 throws out the Gale. Samel, little blink forward to fry out another, but the BKB's out from Ramsey's. As VP, again, still taking these favorable trades, even though they're behind. One lane, Ramsey's waiting to see if EG reveal themselves on this lane. Starting to wrap around. Oh, in they go, though. Samel goes straight in with a the concoction. They've got the Gale out as well. Ramsey's pops the enraged. Samel with the man to start them. Ramsey just the goes to the out of the swap there from Crit. Dragging Ramsey's back in the business with all Ramsey's turns towards Arteezy. Arteezy leaps across the trees and now back in. Onto Ramsey's. Ramsey's comes in, looks for the bash, and he gets it. Can he kill off Arteezy in time? He can't. Ramsey's will go down. There's a lot of on the sidelines as well. And that's. There's no buyback on this. Earth, so for... He's dead for 90. He went all in on that Abyssal Blade purchase. He Dying is out of money. It's already less than half. Out oh, easy somehow. Finishing off quickly. Maybe if Roger gets in now. He's trying to head over. Can he do it quick enough? But no, he can't. They'll grab the Aegis. Samel now looking to go in onto Roger. Roger tries for the Winter's Curse, but Samel already gets the kill. Roger down for 50 seconds. The buyback out from Crit as EG wants to keep the aggression high. They're on Pasha. top of another. They've found Pasha. They've found the Tiny. They right clicks. The attack speed from Arteezy shoots him down. Fly's been hitting some fantastic chain boss. He's been the wall in lane. Crit. It's jumped on here by Ramses and Pasha. Can they really do anything with this though? It doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. So that is going to be a decent amount of time. 70 seconds without the curse. And Solo. Actually going to tank the arrow there from Artigi. Solo is just going to be straight up dead. Surely the cold embrace is there. It's Crepify. Can they keep Solo alive? The life train? Is it enough? The Linker's blocking the concoction? No, the damage is still there from Samael. Solo down for 50. Quite desperate now. This is another tier 3 gone. No, no, no. He's in. Ramsey's on top of Fly. Fly getting tossed up, tossed down. That's going to be Fly gone. Pasha pops the BKB. Aegis gets reclaimed. The arrow connects oh, to Ramsey. They found Ramsey's. He's going to be defensively nine meds. Samael's going to jump forward. Look for the concoction. Also, Ramsey's the old as well. Red on the side. Roger getting focused. The cold embrace there. The swap back on Solo. Solo is down. They've lost both the support, 3P Samael, he's in, onto Ramsey's, Ramsey's pipe back straight away, Noel with the BKB, but he's getting no one, in low body, he's dead, no one's out, he'll buy back as well. There's no Solo, there's no Roger. BP with only the three cores alive to hold against the five man of EG. As EG, light shadowing, taking down this top rack, Samael jumping in on the mid. Ramsey's trying to deal with these Manta style illusions of the Alchemist. The fortification comes through. The base is dying. But EG are finding the base. They're finding no one. They're on top of him. They Genius call it. GG. Called. Evil geniuses will not versus pro out of the competition. 
and move one step forward Jesus. in bracket towards that Aegis of Champions, Virtus Pro. They may have had an incredible TPC year, but at TI, despite being multi-major champions, they couldn't quite pull it out of the bag because EG today, compared to yesterday, I don't know what happened last night, but they sorted all of their issues out and they turned up today with some fantastic strategies that were good enough to, to do what they did there to VP. These were two games where EG looked absolutely fantastic.